Hey everyone, Miss Scarlet Teenager here, just letting you know that this video is going to be an amalgamation of some of the games that I got in January, mostly from like video game lots. So if I won an auction for maybe like $50 to $100 that had like 20 to 40 games in it, that's essentially what it is. And once you cost that out, it ends up being a lot cheaper to collect, especially for disc-based consoles like the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 3, stuff that I mostly collect for. It's much cheaper to buy them in lots. You're most likely not going to find any of the Grail games, but it'll help you fill out your collection, and whenever you get duplicates for games you already have, then you can sell them on sites like eBay in order to recoup some of the cost, which makes it even cheaper. So it's great, a great option for collecting games on a budget if you can put up that initial little bit more expensive cost, and if you are okay with going on to sell the duplicates yourself on a site like eBay. Or you can also use them for trades in game stores, so it's trading fodder as well. Alright, so let's see what's in here. <laughs> Bonk. It's a fun that you make me open package. <laughs> or just stab it. Stabity. Stabity, stabity. 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 Okay. Got packing peanuts. I don't know if these are the kind that I can biodegrade or not. Yeah, look at all of them games. Okay, so what we got here? We got We got a bunny. We got a bunny. Get, the, get away from these. I don't know if these are edible for you or not. <laughs> get away from the packing peanuts, bunny. <laughs> I said away. We'll see if I can get us. <laughs> okay. Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Do I have that one? Uh... No. I don't have this one. I do have this one. So this one goes in the resale pile. This one goes in the not resale pile. Sonic Mega Club. Bunny, I swear to God, stop trying to eat the packing peanuts. <laughs> My rabbits are trying to get themselves killed. I do not have this one. This one goes in the keep pile. I do not have this one. It goes in the keep pile. I mean, why would I have that one? I do have this one, I believe, so it goes in the cell pile. Bunny, I swear to God, stop eating packing peanuts. <laughs> They're not tasty! I do not have this one. It goes in the keep pile. I might have that one. Do I? Let's look over at my list. No. The only one I have is Vice City, so I do not have this one. Yep. Do have this one, as I just said. Yoink. Don't have that one. Don't have that one. Don't have that one. Don't have that one. Most of these I don't have. I do have this one. That one goes in the cell pile. Don't have that. Or that. Stop eating packing peanuts. Go away. Don't have that. Most of these are shovelware. There's a couple good ones. Actually, I do think I just got this one. <laughs> Don't have that one. Keep. I need to get away from her. <laughs> Can't eat packing peanuts. <laughs> uh, do I have that one? Uh, no, the only one I have is Extreme. So, I actually really like the DDR games. I grew up with them. Uh oh, pile's gonna fall. <laughs> I do not have this one. I do not have that one. I do have this one. I do not have this one. I think. I might? I don't. Cool. Get all the packing peanuts back in here. So the bunnies don't eat the packing peanuts. Bunnies! They're so weird. Bunnies, why are you like this? No, bad bunnies. No eating packing peanuts. Okay. So here's our final. These are the ones I'm gonna keep. These are the ones that I'm going to sell. And you do that in order to pay for all these ones. Because <laughs> I think the box set cost me about 60 or 70 after shipping. And that was including shipping. I think shipping was about 10 bucks. So... I should be able to make back most of my money 
by selling these guys. Yay! <laughs> Package that I just got it. Good morning. Oh, you're so tired. Okay. So this giant package, just like the first one, I believe, has a bunch of games for the PS2 that I wanted a lot. Now, the thing that makes this cheaper for collecting is you can sell all the duplicates. Usually, it'll pay for the entirety of the lot, or at least a good portion of it. So it ends up being a lot cheaper than buying games individually. The problem is you end up getting a lot of crap sports titles, but if you're trying to get a complete collection of a specific console, that is okay, because eventually you're going to get those games anyway. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. So much damn bubble wrap. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely reuse all this bubble wrap. Okay. Pile one. Pile two. Big pile. Let's open the big pile first. And yes, I'm still in my sleep time row because I literally just rolled out of bed, don't judge me. <laughs> I was too excited and I wanted to open it now. And I knew if I waited, of course it was after the shower, and I'd be waiting for a while. Okay, so what's in here? Here's all the crappy sports games. <laughs> no, seriously, these are all crappy sports games. It was like $7 for an NHL game, that's funny. But I don't have any of these, so these are maybe keeps, just for sake of completion for the um, collection. And I guess I should just show them back again. Hockey game. Football game. Football game. Football game. This one is a copy, so I guess that one will get sold. Even though I'm gonna only make like maybe a dollar on it. Because nobody wants those fucking games. <laughs> Seriously, sports games are generally the most useless. They're like filler. <laughs> Okay, big number one. Whee! Jeez, I hate it when they use so much plastic wrap. I hate it. The worst. <laughs> like, shipment people, you do not need to use as much plastic wrap. These things are not that fragile. <laughs> okay. So here's gonna be the fun one. Disney's G-Force. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> These two, these two, I fucking love them, but I already have copies of both of these, so these ones are gonna get sold, but these are good games, okay? These are good games, especially, uh, I think it's this one, but these are good games. Okay, now we got some more shovelware. <laughs> Atlantis, I've never had a Spongebob game, so this is interesting, <laughs> I got two of them. I think one of them doesn't have a manual. Okay, yeah. So one of them has a manual, one of them doesn't. The one without the manual is the one I'll sell. <laughs> Harry Potter! I do have this game already, though. So Again, you do this, sometimes you'll get a gem, and a lot of the times you'll just end up filling out your collection. Lots of Spongebob games. Harry Potter. I think I have this one. I do. I think. I do. Okay. So most of this is gonna get sold. This, I do not. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I do not. This. This I keep. Oh, Crash. Mind over, mind over Mutant. I've never actually played a Crash Bandicoot game. It's not the manual though, which is a little disappointing. More Nicktoons games that nobody wanted. Ooh, that one has the entire trilogy on. I've never played a Lego Star Wars game, so that'll be interesting. I'm starting to encroach on the space of the game. 
Yes, 49 days. And I was able to see what was in it before I bought it. So I do know there is a couple in here that I do actually really, really want. <laughs> Like so much bubble wrap! There's an army of bubble wrap. I'm scared. I'm scared of the bubble wrap. Too much bubble wrap. Okay. Oh god. All of these are like TV show related ones. But Girl Adventures Bill of Bill Nice. <laughs> That's like deathmatch. Godzilla. Of monsters, Capsule Monster Coliseum, Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Now here is where we start to get into the somewhat rare games. Simpsons Hit and Run. I don't have this, and I have another copy, another lot that's on its way. So eventually, one of these is going to get sold, and those ones can be worth like forty bucks. Had a Netty, Avatar. I'm sure some of these are good, but. I don't know. I think I have like three or four Sonic games. Yeah, I've never played any Sonic game. I have a lot of games that I never played. Wrath Unleashed. Rampage. Monster Lab. GoldenEye Rogue Agent. I know that double, um, GoldenEye on the N64 is really good. I don't know if this one is. Zapper. Finding Nemo. Spyro, A Hero's Tale. I've heard so much shit about this game. <laughs> Haven't played it though. So I guess we'll see. The cover. Super Monkey Ball. Medal of Honor. I don't know Medal of Honor. So yeah, nothing too exciting. But again, you get these lots so you can help fill out your collection with all like the shovelware and like the little stuff nobody cares about. Or if there's like one or two gems that are hidden in the pile. But these ones I already have though, so I can sell these ones. And <laughs> these are the ones I don't have. It's a pile of games. <laughs> but yeah, that's the biggest one. Usually I don't get lost that are this big. So yeah. So I got another box. Much lighter. I think there's only a few games in it. Let's see what's in here. Yes, it's also early in the morning, so yes, I'm still in my room. <laughs> I can use this paper, at least I'm not covered in plastic bubble wrap like the other one was. Okay. Got another copy of Simpsons Hit and Run. Also doesn't have the fucking manual in it. <laughs> but it's a better case. I can sell that. Atari Anthology, which I do not have. I've never really played many Atari games. I've never played any Sonic games despite holding, owning multiple. Daredevil. Crazy Taxi. I think some of these games can be rare, but I haven't heard of so many of them. Star Wars Starfighter. I don't think I have that one. I don't think so. Roller Coaster is a theme park game? It's like a roller coaster tycoon knockoff. Okay. Gran Turismo 3. I do not have that one. And Gran Turismo 4. Also do not have that one. So out of all of this, I think I only paid 40 bucks. Probably. And all of these I don't have. And I don't have to even take stickers off of them it looks like. Which is great because I usually have to take so many stickers off of things. And I already have this one, so this one I can sell to help pay for all of these. Yay! Some more packages to open. Don't mind if you hear some power holes on the background. So this first one. Now I already have the component version of this, but I want to get the composite so I can do some video comparisons. But this is a PC. Or not PC, a TV um, composite cables for the PSP. Now I already have the component ones. 
but again, I just want to get these for video comparison's sake so I can compare how the two look. I know the component's going to look better, but still. It's always nice to be thorough. And this one, I think I know this one is. God, I wish they wouldn't wrap in so much plastic. I'm going to have to do a video on shipping, trying to get games and shipping with less plastic usage. I know what these are. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Y'all ready for this? If I can get the damn things open. <laughs> Potentially. Without damaging the contents. Alright. Maybe. There we go. Fear effect. Fear Effect 2. Guess what I'm going to have to do on my channel now because I've never seen or played these. I just found out about them. Apparently they're Resident Evil clones. So yeah. Got ourselves in the back. And then this one is the reason why I'm recording this. Because I tend to record lots. Then I get a lot of games. Lots as in a bunch of Prince of Persia for the PS3. This is a PS3 lot of games. I think I only got it for like 20 bucks. So, Uncharted. Few Among Thieves. I only have Uncharted 3. I've never played any of the Uncharted games. Final Fantasy 10, uh, 13 2. This is the only way I would get this game. Because I don't buy Square Games games new. And I've never actually... Oh, Drake's Fortune. I think I... No, I don't have that one. Okay. Cool. And Final Fantasy 13, greatest hits version. And then Metal Gear Solid 4. This game is very important to me. I already have a copy of it though, so this one's gonna get sold. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I've already got this one. Little Big Planet. I do not have this one. And Assassin's Creed Greatest Hits. I don't have the Black Label or the Greatest Hits. So yeah, keep that one. These ones I'm gonna keep. Especially these ones because I bought them specifically. These two, I'm gonna try and sell. Probably only gonna get a couple dollars for each one though. And of course, composite cables. And also, <clears throat> another thing that I got I have redone the console setup. That is a PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 backwards compatible PS3. I tore it apart yesterday to clean it out to try to get it to work a little bit better because it's starting to have some of the heating problems the early PlayStation 3's had. Thing's hefty. It is heavy, heavy big boy. But that way, I can have the PS4 for PS4 games, PS3 for PS1, 2, and 3 games, and I can have the Wii U there and all of my handheld consoles there. So there you go. Yay! And that, everyone, is going to be a bunch of the stuff that I got in January. It's not everything because I only really recorded the game lots that I got. I didn't really record much of the singular games that I got, like these two, my only two Vita games at the moment. But yeah, maybe I'll do a video on some of the other individual pickups that I've gotten. But let me know if you guys like to see that in the comments down below. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and I'll see you all in the next video.